And now both saw the psychological edge. Look at this now as they stare. Muhammad Ali beginning to talk to George Foreman. They're really putting the stare on each other. George Foreman has that serious look. Ali definitely talking to him. Look at the stare on George Foreman. Look at Ali give him the word. So the stage is set. We're just about ready to begin round one, the heavyweight championship of the world at stake. There can be no more pure form of sport than a heavyweight championship fight when two individuals, finely tuned athletes, climb into the ring. This time, the championship is at stake, and $5 million will be paid to both fighters. Ali ready, Foreman ready. We're waiting for the opening bell. The enthusiasm begins to mount here. One thing we want to look out for is just how fast this man, George Foreman, will open. As we mentioned in his past several fights he hasn't gone in the past four years beyond two rounds in any fight. Can Ali dance and stay away from him? Is George Foreman's thundering punches going to be too much for him? Is the left hook that is so devastating, the tremendous left hook, going to stop Ali? Here we go, Ali quickly across the round. Round one, Ali bouncing around, shifting left for right. George moves slow, Ali gets the first punch in, a light right hand taken on the forehead by George Foreman, the champion. Foreman moving slow, trying to stalk his man. Ali looks uh, like he's ready to go here. He's not staying away, he's going after his man. Foreman comes in, Foreman a bit cautious in the first round, looking to drop that left foot. corner. There's that left uppercut and jab to the body of Muhammad Ali. Ali tries to hang on to the head of George Foreman. Foreman dances now. Moves Ali with a right hand lead again. Has Foreman slightly confused with that right hand lead, which I haven't seen too many times before. Ali certainly dancing, slipping punches, sliding around both ways. Foreman's idea is to back him off into the corner and when they get tight to wail away with that vicious to the body of Muhammad Ali. Ali lashes out with a light left. A straight right hand. Forehead up close. George Foreman. George Foreman again takes a light left inside as he tries to work to the body of Muhammad Ali. That's Ali on your right. Foreman on the left. A wild left hand thrown by George Foreman. Taken on the side of the head of Ali. The pace is tremendous in round one. George Foreman with his face to you. Ali to the left. Ali tries to time up. He's leaning on Foreman. Vicious uppercut, misses, ticket it for the head of Ali. Ali stands back, ties his man up, leans on the rope, tells him, whispers in his ear, taunting him. So far, Ali looks pretty impressive in round one. This Foreman throws a light glancing blow, ticket it for the head of Ali, but goes over the shoulder of Muhammad Ali. Ali shifts right, bounces left, takes the light left on the side of the head. Wild left hand thrown on the side of the head of Muhammad Ali. Look at the referee, Zach Clayton, having his problems. One minute left in round number one. The heavyweight championship between Muhammad Ali and George Foreman, live by a satellite, direct from Zaire, Africa. That punch did no damage, that one did. Two wild right hands taken on the side of the head of Muhammad Ali. Ali continues to try to tie his man up. Zach Clayton separates them. Wild left hand, vicious hook. There's a real strong right hand just underneath the heart. And Muhammad Ali is taking some punishment now. About 25 seconds left in the round. Ali, face left, goes the straight right hand. That right hand lead has George Foreman slightly confused, but a straight left jab thrown by Foreman has Ali in the corner. Ali dances back, hangs on. What a tremendous, tremendous face in round number one. The hook to the body of Muhammad Ali. Zach Clayton, the referee, separates them. About eight seconds left in the round. Round one, Foreman and Ali ending round one. I... Here we go, round number two. The determined Ali get off his stool in between rounds. George Foreman sat down all the way. Ali with a back up against the rope. He's talking to Foreman still. Ali tries to tie him up. No real damage done in that exchange at all by either fighter. Round two just underway. A wild left hand that George Foreman throws is trying to get to Ali. I can't see any puffiness over the right eye of George Foreman at this point, although Ali has hit him on the button. Ali is definitely headhunting with his right hand lead. A good right hand taken on the left side of the jaw by Muhammad Ali. And there's those vicious hooks to the midsection of Ali. Ali has a tremendous strength to the 
midsection. George Foreman is headhunting himself. Ali tries to hang on. The pace not quite what it was in round one. Ali backs up, leans out, takes advantage of the reach. Foreman tries to work the body. Neither one of those punches did any damage. None of those punches are doing any damage at all. None, absolutely none. There's a light flicking left hand to the face of George Foreman. Foreman pushing the head back of Ali, and Ali hangs on. The hanging on tactic is important for Muhammad Ali, who must take a breather now and then. Left hand, light left, taken on the chin of Ali. The wild left hand is not scoring, not getting through. Left jab right in the button, thrown by Ali. of Muhammad Ali. Another left hand on the right eye of George Foreman, the right eye that was cut in training. Still cannot see if it's puffy at all. George Foreman continues to stalk Ali, tries to get through with a straight left jab, an improved left jab. There's a vicious, awkward, but very powerful hook. Both hands, left hooks, and what would really be a, a right cross is a hook to George Foreman. Misses the left hand. Ali inviting him to punch. Shows him the tremendous Ali slipping of punches as he twists the body to the side. Ali backs up and jabs he backs up. About 45 seconds left in round two. An even fight to this point. Pace is definitely slowed down in round two. Oh, a great left hand. An over and under combination. The left hand and then the right on the jaw. Taken by the champion, George Foreman. There's a left hand in the eye of Foreman. Ali's scoring some punches here. These punches are not hurting him that he's taking on the side of the head. 30 seconds left in round two. Look at Ali, continues to talk and talk. Definitely serious, tremendous combination by Muhammad Ali. The left hand and then that straight right to the jaw. He's trying to do the damage with the left jab, the lightning flicking left to the right eye of George Foreman. 10 seconds left in round number two. Shaking his head. No, no, he says. The left hand gets through again. There's the bell. And the we were able to observe a little bit of puffiness under the left eye of George Foreman. The left eye, not the right eye. Oh, what a combination landed by Ali to the face of George Foreman. Round three just underway. Very even fight. I would have to score round two slightly in favor of Muhammad Ali. There's the left flicking in the face of George Foreman. George Foreman backing Ali to the ropes. There's a vicious left hook to the body. Misses the left again, the right to the body. Thrown by George Foreman. Ali is getting away with hanging on to the head of Foreman. Foreman will push and try to set up his punch. Watch him push. There's the right hand. When he pushes, he tries to do it off of that. That's his secret. Continues to work downstairs on Muhammad Ali. Round three. Very close. Heavyweight championship fight. Ali on the left. Foreman misses the right hand. Ali scores with his own right. Foreman setting him up against the rope. What a vicious, fast Ali continues to talk to George 
woman. Continues to talk, continues to taunt. 30 seconds left in round number three. Foreman looking for his opening to unload that left hand underneath the heart of Ali and drop the right. There he goes to the right, but it just didn't land that time. Very even fight. Ten seconds left now in round three. Ali showing his combination. The hand speed, left, right, left combination to the head of Foreman. Foreman again takes the right hand, right on the left side of the head. The foul and round three. That's what he's doing. Here we go, round four. Muhammad Ali looks to be the fresher of the two at this point. This is the furthest that George Foreman has gone in a fight since 1972. He's in the fourth round against Muhammad Ali, the dancing master with tremendous hand speed. The left hand scores again. Foreman looking for the opportunity. Looks, has a tremendous look of determination. Staggered, Foreman staggered, definitely. Right on the button, right on the jaw of George Foreman. That's probably the hardest Foreman has been hit since Gregorio Peralta opened his eye in the first fight. Another right hand taken to the left side of the head of George Foreman. Foreman's face beginning to show signs of puffiness around the right eye, but below the right eye. Wild right hand thrown by Foreman misses the intended target, the jaw of Ali. Foreman tries to score. Ali ties him up in tight. Zach Clayton doing the job separating the fighters. Ali rifles a right to the head of Foreman. Foreman tied up. Ali is getting away with it, tying his man up. There's Ali facing him. Foreman, the strength in his back, you can see, as he tries to work downstairs on Ali. Ali hanging on and continues to get away with it. Ali looks uh, a bit concerned, but uh, what would you expect in there against George Foreman? Foreman not scoring these punches at all. Light, boring punches, unusual for George Foreman. Maybe the heat is getting to George Foreman as his leg at that point looked a bit on the rubbery side. Ali scores a light combination there, but no serious damage done. Both fighters beginning to show signs of a little bit of tiring now. And you have to expect it with the temperatures close to 80 here in Zaire, Africa. Neither one of those punches were damaging to the body of Ali. George Foreman's legs look almost weary now. Does not look strong in the legs to me at all. Right hand missed, the second one just clipped Ali in the back of the head. Muhammad Ali with that straight left hand. Now the left hook trying to catch the right eye of George Foreman, no doubt about it. Ali hanging on behind the head. Foreman hasn't been able to push Ali off and set him up. Misses the right hand. Ali is definitely confusing him. 30 seconds left in round four. Foreman continues to come on. Ali backs up. Not as much certainly as we expected. Ali hanging tough, not coming in and moving out. Left hand misses, goes over the shoulder of Ali. And again, Ali hangs on. Zach Clayton, the referee, separates the two fighters. There's the vicious left. No real serious damage done. Ali is getting his hand up. The wild left by the jaw of Ali. Look at Foreman's face. He does look tired. He doesn't have the bounce in his Here we go, the bell sounds, round number five. Ali stood through part of the round as he allows Foreman to back him up. Foreman scored a pretty good right hand that time to the body of Muhammad Ali. Ali's face showing no signs of being hit at all as he takes a light left hand. This is a straight left hand thrown by Ali. Face of Foreman beginning to look marked. No cuts, nobody's been down, we're in round five. Foreman definitely has a puffy right eye. Straight left hand taken by Foreman. Ali continues to talk to him. Foreman trying to back Ali up and really throws the right hand to the body of Muhammad Ali. Doesn't seem to bother Ali as Ali stands on his toes, works downstairs, goes downstairs. Good left hook by Ali, good left hook by Foreman. Again, the right hand of Ali is going to the left side of the face of Foreman as the infighting is really better for Muhammad Ali, upstairs anyway. Careful, careful, careful. Here's some real good shots to the oh, body careful. thrown by Foreman. Foreman on the left of your screen, Ali on the right. Ali leans up against the ropes. Right hand taken on the gloves by Ali. There's a real wild right hand taken in the back of the head of Ali. 
Foreman with a wild right again. Ali looks like he's trying to rest in this round. His punches are not doing any damage, though. Vicious right thrown to the body of Ali. Wild right misses the head of Ali. The left taken on the glove of Ali, the right glove. Foreman pouring. 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 to the body. Ali does look tired now. Foreman seems to be coming back with more steam. Scores with a light right hand. One minute left in round five. This is George Foreman's round all the way. Ali, this is a cruising round for him. Foreman wailing away. And Ali says, is that the best one? Foreman just working the body. Hasn't hit Ali except once for the face. Neither fighter has been down. Ali picks it up a little bit, about 40 seconds left in round number five. Chris left the combination by Ali. Lands in the head of Foreman. Foreman with that right. What a terrific round. We're joined by the third man in the ring, Zach. You remember when I fought him in 70? Here we go with round number six. There was some confusion in between rounds as officials in attendance are tightening up the ropes to prevent Ali from leaning back. And Angelo Dundee, the trainer of Ali, came racing across the ring and really did some yelling. They're still screaming back and forth about the ropes, whether they want them tight or loose. Zach Clayton separates the two fighters. Ali goes head hunting again. Oh, great left hand taken on the face of George Foreman. Ali scored three in a row that time. Foreman's right eye looking to be closed. Ali has tremendous look of confidence on that face. These punches are landing, bouncing off the eye of the heavyweight champion of the world, George Foreman. Foreman has his work cut out for him. Ali gets a hand from the tremendous crowd here at 20th of May Stadium. Now Ali backs up against the ropes, takes a low blow, not intended by George Foreman. Light left on the break by Ali. Foreman has no steam in any of those punches, and you don't need me to tell you that. Ali leans on him. Ali sits back in the ropes and tells Foreman to come in. Foreman looks like, uh, well, a bit arm weary until that right hand is trying to set Ali up. Ali doing exactly what he's actually not supposed to do, leaning up against the ropes and taking the punches of the heavy hitting George Foreman. Foreman doesn't really look to have that tremendous punch anymore, but I'm sure that when he gets a little respite here as they're cruising a little bit now in round six, that uh, he'll be able to deliver the thundering, booming, rifling shots that he's capable of delivering at any time. A minute left in round six. Muhammad is allowing Foreman to come in on him, inviting him in and counter-punching, inviting him in, talking to him. Angelo Dundee screaming from the corner, Ali, get off those ropes. But Ali continues to talk to Foreman. Straight left hand on the chin of George Foreman. Foreman paws in. He's looking for room to unload that right hand. 30 seconds left in the round. Now Ali squares away, watching box. He loves to put on combinations in the last few seconds of the round. Right hand misses. That right hand scored by Ali. Look at these combinations. point is outclassed the strength and booming punches of Foreman. Neither fighter has been down. Round six. Goodness, those people who said Foreman would win in a flash have certainly been proved wrong. Those people who said... Here we go, round number seven, and the fighters can't wait to get at each other. As this time, Big Foreman comes stalking across the ring. 
delivering some light uh, hooks to the body of Ali that certainly are doing no problems or causing any problems to Muhammad Ali. Ali spins him around out of the corner now. Ali is definitely in command as far as the movement in the ring is concerned. Foreman looking for the opportunity to unload. The left hand again in the face of Foreman. Definitely Ali is scoring more punches than George Foreman. The punches to the body of Ali are not hurting him. They're not taking a toll. The man is in tremendous physical condition in that part of his body. Of course, George Foreman tries to work again inside on Ali. Ali pushes his hand away. Again, Ali ties up George Foreman. Foreman doesn't look to have a good bounce on his leg anymore. But of course, Foreman being the one-punch artist that he is, who knows what might happen as the rounds continue. We're in round number seven, midway through. Straight left and a good right hand taken on the side of the head. The tactic by Ali is to jab with the left or the right hand and hang on. George Foreman, of course, famous for his booming punches. Foreman continues to come in on Ali. He wants Ali bad. It's just a matter of trying to set him up to deliver the real heavy blow. Ali rifles into the right hand. Ali's face is not marked. George Foreman gets in a pretty good left of the body that time underneath the ribcage of Muhammad Ali. Punch was hard to see on television, but he did score a pretty good punch inside. Ali doing what he did to some smaller men, leaning on jo George Foreman. There's a good right uppercut thrown by Foreman. Best punch he's thrown in a couple of rounds. Ali hangs on. Both fighters beginning to show signs of being tired. 30 seconds left in this round seven. Very even fight. Hard to tell exactly who would be up in front. Perhaps by a point, maybe two. One way or the other. Looks like Ali could be up in front with the punches that he's scoring to the head of Foreman. Definitely showing some fatigue in the waning seconds in round seven. Ali continues to talk. Foreman tries to deliver some shots to the body. The bell sounds ending round seven. So the bell sounds round number eight and an even fight here live via satellite, a video techniques presentation worldwide. Ali working to the head of George Foreman. Ali scores again with a light left hand. At that time, a straight left bounces the head back of Foreman. Quick, short jab with the right hand bounces the head around of Foreman. Foreman looking to deliver the real heavy blows. Now he's bouncing better. Almost falls out of the ring. Ali left that punch, twisted his body to the side, and the left hand went kind of over the shoulder. Ali bends him over. Zach Clayton right on the spot, the referee, chairman of the Pennsylvania State Boxing Commission. Ali, it seems to be well, kind of going the way he wants. He's not dancing as much as we thought, but he uh, seems able to control him. Now, it's a pretty good, good heavy right hand taken on the left side of the cheek by Ali. Good right hand thrown by Foreman that time. Again, for Foreman, it seems to be one, or two, maybe three good punches. That punch taken on the gloves, that one slips by the left ear, tries to go with that right uppercut that felled Kenny Norton. The left hand again thrown out by Foreman. Both fighters now very much more fatigued than they were a round or so ago. The heat is pretty high here, around 80 degrees. The humidity is probably 85 to 90. At age 32, Muhammad Ali is bouncing around pretty good for the 24-year-old Foreman hanging pretty tough in there. Again, I caution you to look for the one punch that George Foreman can deliver at any time. This man is devastating, to say the least. These punches are not at this particular time. Try to pull a sneaky right hand on Ali. 
Ali hanging on, getting away with it. Getting away with it. The left hand taken on the side of Ali's cheek. The left hook again on the side of the gloves. Right hand by Foreman was not effective. The right uppercut did bounce the head a little bit. His punches will not hurt Ali. Ali just takes him. Protecting his face at all times does Ali. Foreman throwing more punches now. Maybe this could be the tactic of Ali to let the man punch himself out. 30 seconds left in round eight. Very even fight. Ali, a sneaky right hand. Another sneaky right hand. This time he works over the shoulder of Foreman. Coming uh, from uh, the first time 